Hello everybody. Another thing to look at when you're using recycler views is that you can add clickable components inside the recycler view, which uh, which was a little bit of a hassle in list views. So for example, I can add a button inside the row of a recycler view. Okay, and that's very easy because it, it's a layout that I can control. Plus also the on-click listener for the recycler view is very open. You actually set it up. So anyhow, so let's have a look. What if I want to add a button here beside each one of these? All right. So to do that, I'll go to the layout, right? I'm going to remove this constraint. And I'm going to remove also this constraint. <clears throat> and then just add a button, right? Here is the button. Right here it is. I added a button, right? And then I'll just put the button to top, the sides, right? And then here is my button. It's just occupying this side of the screen. And then basically I'm just going to go put this one here and maybe here give it a little bit of a padding maybe let's give it an eight or something between them here we are i just added the button right <clears throat> let's call it for example uh button like for example the like button right here it is this is the like button right here it is so i added a button and let's say for example like right? something like that right so here's my like button right and uh let's say we uh, so anyhow, so that's the uh, the button, uh, uh, the like button. So now when I run it, nothing nothing will change. It just will show a button, right? Here it is, and here it is. You see, there is a like button, right? And you can click even on that like button, right? You can have put an image or whatever you want to do. But this is a like button. Now when I click on that like button, I actually want to like that, like that user, for example, or maybe call an API that is going to change that or talk to the server to make that person like it or whatever. So to do that, you have to do it in the view holder. So basically you could see here the view holder, right? And then basically inside that view holder, we can retrieve that button, right? So basically we could get it here. You could say, for example, uh, item view dot find view by ID, r dot ID dot button like and then set on click listener new on click listener here it is and you could see that in the view holder we passed the user which we are storing here right and you could see that we could not pass the user when we are creating the view holder because we don't have access to the to the user yet right this is just a a bare bones view holder doesn't have anything inside it but then when it's bind to an a position this means it's bind to a data type then we have the user then we pass the user to the holder like this right you can create methods like set user or or do it like this okay or set it by holder dot user equal user right or you could say set user create a method so anyhow <clears throat> so when we do this i could just say that i could i have i know exactly which user it is so basically and i click on click for the like right so i could say like <clears throat> for the position or for user okay and the user dot name right so i can do that so now when you run it you can see that <clears throat> you have two on click listeners you have one on the whole item and you have one on the like so now when you let's have a look at the log let's clear the log <clears throat> okay so if we uh, click on the item here it is if we click on the row okay here you see i'm clicking on the row the white space i'm clicking now on this white space and you can see that it's printing this log message because here we have registered an event handler on the whole uh, component, right? But then <clears throat> here we are finding the like button. So if I click the like, see if I click the like button, it's showing that like for blah, blah, blah. So basically you can set up different event handlers for different places on the row that you click on, right? Even if it's a button, if it's the image or it's different parts of it. And so it's in white space, this and so on. So you can register different uh, buttons or different event handlers on different components in the recycler view so it makes it very versatile because see it opens up how the the handling of events you actually set up your own handlers all right please let me know if you have any questions